guys. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm in the nerd cave. I'm going to recap the weekend. This is how the weekend vlog is going to happen. So I'm back home from the weekend and I'm going to recap. So this is the beginning of the weekend vlog, but it's actually the end because I'm home from the weekend and I'm recapping. If, if you didn't understand, which I'm sure you did. Okay, so, and, and, and a little disclaimer. I may forget some stuff that I actually got footage of over the weekend and I forget to, if I forget to put that, if I get to say, if I forget to recap that in the weekend vlog right now, if I forget to recap that, then I'm, I'll just toss it in there somewhere. Or at the end. I don't know. I haven't done a weekend vlog in this fashion where I sit down and I recap everything and then I show you the footage as I recap and talk about it. So, I thought I'd put a little spin on things. So, yeah, what, the weekend started off... Um, I'll go step by step. We started off uh, getting ready for the weekend, packing things up, packing camera gear, things of that sort. Um, getting in the, loading the car up, getting in the car, and heading off to Champaign. I was, excuse me, I was there to do a video shoot at the Fluid Event, Event Center. They were putting on a um, dark history horror convention. Um, and there was there were some pretty cool people there. Um, Jeff Gaither, being one of them, was there. Here is a picture of Jeff and I hanging out, and I ended up with some of Jeff's artwork signed by Mr. Gaither himself. This this is a uh, very uh, oh what's the word I want to use. This is this is what got me started in in Jeff Gaither's artwork is Rat Fink. Um, this is the uh, Ed Roth days where Jeff Gaither worked with Ed Roth and and did and and created and, and drew Rat Fink. Um, so I had to get this piece of artwork, and uh, it, it's it's awesome. And then another piece of Gaither artwork I picked up was this awesomeness here. Um, I know the, the lights, because he has these in awesome, just awesome plastic sleeves, and, and it's so cool how he display or how he sells this, but, so that that's a, a real nice piece, too, and I wanted so many more, but, you know, I was, I was there to work, not, not purchase art, which I still did a lot of, and then while, while, while I was there, I talked to a guy, okay, so, I, at the at the dark horror convention, dark history, dark horror history convention, um, I did I did loads of interviews, um, lo just loads of footage of the event um, that I'm, I'm putting together as as a promo. <clears throat> but while I was there, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> while I was there, I've, I've got all my stuff laying down here. I'm, I'm trying to gather it up. While I was there, I, I interviewed a guy named Cameron Johnson, and he created this comic book. Now, this is number one. Um, it's called Engaged. So it's Thy Neighbor, Engaged, number one. And um, so, you know, I interviewed him, which, okay, I'll, I'll pause for a minute. I'll let you see a piece of that interview right now. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Cameron Johnson. I'm here at Dark History and Horror Convention in wonderful Champaign, Illinois. Here slinging some of my newly released comic book, Thy Neighbor, uh, as well as some of my other comic prints and uh, fan art originals. So, I, you know, inter I interviewed him. It, 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 he, super cool guy. He did a nice sketch in there for me. Um, signed it. Uh, very cool. Got this bookmark from him as well. Which is a drawing? God, I hope I'm in focus. Which is a is a drawing? Come on, let's 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 focus in on the bookmark, please. So yeah, so a cool bookmark. Um, and then I got this. This this is a a, a, a print of the cover, um, and he signed it as well. So so that was awesome. That was very cool. Um, this is actually. They gave me a vendor pass to get into the horror convention because they didn't have like media passes. So the vendor pass just got me, I just got to walk in and set up and start recording. Um, 
And uh, right now I'll just show you some of the con. Um, I'll show you some of the stuff that, that, that I, I got video of, so check it out. And then I, um, I met up with a guy who, <laughs> um, this is the first, I don't want to, I don't want to offend anybody, but this is how he said it. It's the first retarded superhero. So, so, <laughs> and, and I, I, the guy didn't want to do an interview. He's like, I'm probably one of the smallest guys here. Go do an interview with somebody bigger. And I was like, listen, dude, I like the fact that you made your own comic book. I mean, you know that's that's amazing i i haven't done that i i wish i have um as a matter of fact i might hook up with one of these guys with a comic book idea because he is in direct connection with a comic book publisher that published this now this is uh, the real american zeros and um you have uh, a guy named dick a, a guy named skidmark a girl named vd and then you have retardo himself and um it, it is it is a, a comic book about a mentally challenged superhero the very first one of its kind um <laughs> he did sign this for me and um i mean i found it interesting so there's that um i got loads of other stuff what else oh i got i got i got kiss dolls over here on the shelf, I've got them lined up. Um, if you want to see them, go check on my Facebook page. Um, it's always linked below. And, and you go to my Facebook page, and I took a picture of, of all those uh, Kiss dolls. I bought those at the convention. I got a great deal on them because they're still in box. The boxes are in decent shape. Not great shape, but decent shape. And uh, the guy only charged me 35 bucks, so that's less than $10 a doll. And um, some of those are going online for way more than that. So I, I got a pretty nice deal. Um, I did uh, a video with these guys. They made a movie, um, Pit Fire of Hell. They put together their own movie. They were selling the DVDs. The, the, I talked to their cinematographer. And... Um, and uh, told them that I, uh, you know, if we, uh, if they ever needed a videographer, I would be happy to work with them, and that um, um, that I could probably learn a lot from their cinematographer. And he was like, "Well, you know, I mean, you got a nice rig, you got a nice setup. Um, there's not a whole lot to learn in cinematography. You know, it's just uh, kind of listening to the director and getting the shots." And I'm like, "I would still love to do that." So uh, if they ever, and, and maybe it will never happen. They were super nice people. I did an interview with them as well. Check it out right now. Hey, I'm Bob East. Uh, I'm the director of Pit Fire of Hell. I co-wrote the film with my buddy Chuck Terrell. Uh, we're here at the Dark History Horror Con. And, uh, you know, I simply told them if they was ever maybe needed someone to help them on one of their movies, I'd be happy. And uh, I got loads and loads and loads and loads of business cards from tons and tons and tons of very interesting people um very interesting people so plenty plenty of network possible connections maybe um one of the guys um and i did get footage of him i'll show you right now that guy who tilted his hat that guy is a photographer, and I probably spent, I bet you I spent an hour at his booth, flipping through his artwork, flipping through his photography. He does mainly horror photography. The guy's a genius. He's a photography genius. 
his stuff is so freaking good and the way he sets up these scenes and most of the time he's shooting these in his in-house studio so he has all these props and all these things and he brings these people in and he he shoots these amazing photographs um i do have his card somewhere and i gotta find it and, and if i find it and his information i will totally link him below because you gotta see some of his photography mind-blowing the guy's uh, he's a camera genius i was so impressed by what he was doing in the way of horror photography fan freaking tastic great just i mean maybe there was some editing done on his photography i don't know it just looked so good and he does some really cool things like he prints some of his stuff on aluminum um prints it on wood he prints some of his stuff on different medias and and it's just really cool really cool so yeah so okay so 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 i kind of got off kilter with so we did we we loaded up we went to champagne we got in our hotel um we then you know the, okay we are in the hotel the next day we went to the con and, and and we had a blast i i i shot loads of video put together a promo um and 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 uh, uh got to mingle with some really cool people jeff gaither was the coolest dude i have ever met in my entire well okay i mean he was really cool I, i've met some cool people but so i can't say he was the coolest but he was awesome i've been a, a fan of his art for so long my gosh so long i've been following jeff gaither since the rat fink days since since the days that that, that he he drew that character uh, uh he and 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 he's iconic to me he's like oh he, he I, I was almost i <laughs> i was a little starstruck i was a little stammered when when i met him but um he he was so cool such a nice guy and uh, uh that that experience in itself made that horror con killer experience for me so we was at the con i'm doing all this filming i'm getting all these interviews i'm really enjoying it because the people there are so cool and i and and, and i can't believe i'm going to say this i enjoyed this horror con and, and it was a much smaller scale than comic-con i enjoyed it more simply because and i'll tell you why simply because it was um uh, comic-con is a lot about you know comic books and superheroes but it's just a lot of vendors and people trying to sell you merchandise um, it's great for collectors, and, and, and I am a collector, so it's great for that, but you just spend a lot of money. And, um, um, and, and not that Horicon isn't selling things. They absolutely are, but here's the thing. Horicon first is about the horror genre, genre, which I love. I love that genre of movies. Plus, it's about very creative people. Um, thank you. Thanks, dude. So it's about it's it's about all these creative people that come together. Um, these comic book artists who who they're not. It's not like they're creating your average comic book or your average superhero. They have put a spin on it, and, and and it's so creative. And then the artist and the photographers and the people and I mean, there's people that made a movie and and the actors. Um, um, Robert Mukes uh, from from House of a Thousand Corpses played Rufus Jr. was there an incredible guy we hung out we talked he 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 spent a lot of time at the haunt that that I did promos for which I was going to every night of the weekend I went there hung out he was there we talked we had fun it was cool um, uh, I mean just just the creative aspect the artistic aspect of this horror con was I it, it oh it's just really grabbed my interest and I had a blast being there so we did the horror con uh, hung out had, had fun I was there for five hours I, I I was only supposed to do a video shoot for two and a half hours uh, I was there for five hours uh, I could not cram enough video shots doing interviews and everything in a two and a half hour time frame I just couldn't do it so um we didn't get paid for five hours um but i didn't care it, it, i'm fine with that um i i had to do do go the extra uh time to to get what i needed to get um so the the extra time the extra t two and a half hours that i was there i'm going to use some of this footage on my channel anyway i'm going to put together a uh dark horror history or dark history horror convention um um video for my channel anyway so so they have that um then after after the horror con we went back to the hotel we are back in the hotel video shoot went fairly well it was fun to be there um 
I met Jeff Gay there. I seen Pete Altieri there, and he's a guy from a band that's been around for 18 years locally, and uh, band's called Low 12. And I seen him standing. I'm like, I've never met the guy face to face, but I've followed him. Oh man, probably almost the length of time that they have been um, a band, almost not quite. And it was just cool. I seen him, and I'm like, Pete Altieri, and he was like, Hey, he's never met me before. I was like, Dude, I know, you, I know you don't know me, but um, I've been following you guys for years, and and it's just awesome to meet. And I and Jeff Gaither actually did some of their album covers, um, and it, it it was just cool that they were you know both both there. Um, they were like a heavy metal band, um, but they were just they were good. And Pete was like Pete's like a he was a total businessman. Like he turned that into a business. And I went around scaring people dressed as Annabelle. She dressed as Annabelle, ran around the con scaring people, which was funny. Loads of just friendly people there. Everybody just was so willing to get in front of the camera and talk and do interviews. And that was awesome. I got loads of interview footage, just loads of footage in general, to put together a nice promo for for the, the convention center. So it's all good. And I haven't hardly vlogged at all today, but I am going to be tossing in uh, a lot of of the Dark History Horrorcon footage that you've already seen. As maybe you've already, maybe you haven't already seen it. I don't know where it's going in to this vlog, this weekend vlog. But uh, it's it's hard to, to vlog, be you know, when I'm doing that because I get in work mode. So when I go to these conventions or or wherever I'm filming at, I'm in work mode. So that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm worried about capturing what I need to capture and make a nice promo or commercial or whatever I'm doing for the client. So uh, a lot of vlogging isn't going to happen. It's just not going to happen when I'm working. It's just not. So anyway, business is business. <laughs> Ups and downs of it, and. Uh, not that business isn't going well. We're busy. It's just when you get into it, sometimes it's just a pain in the ass. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But anyway, we're going to get some food and just chill for a little while. Maybe go to the haunt later and check it out. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. We're out of here tomorrow and uh, start our week. So Anyway, it's been an okay weekend. I'm not going to lie. It's been all right. But... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, anyway, <laughs> it's one of them weekends, you're right, Hardy. I've got to order some food or go get some food, I don't know where we're going, but we're going to do something and put some food in our bellies because we're hungry, and uh, I will see you guys in the next clip, and the air just kicked on, it's freezing in our hotel, it's freezing outside. It, it is, I did shut it off and kick back on, must be, I'm not turning the heat on. All right, let's kick this up. All right, we just shut it back off. So uh, it is cold in here. It's probably like 60 degrees in here. And then we tried to get in our hotel. But this is this is how my, my weekend has just not been going well. On the way here, I had a conversation with a client, and everything was very confused. And then we get here, and then we're doing our thing, and I'm, I'm working, and then there was other confusion, and um, not between me and a client, but there was just – other confusion and then um we tried to get into our hotel and it was like if the the door lock was stuck and i'm like man get to go home to our dog? Uh, this weekend has just been it's been it's been um one of them weekends where if something something shitty can happen mm -hmm. it will happen and it has and then we got to go home sunday mm -hmm. and uh our dogs have probably gotten it actually lexi's been going there right I hope we don't go home to a mess in the house. Oh, man. Anyway, anyway, yeah. <laughs> it has been one of those weekends, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's been a blast. Some, sometimes, sometimes, being a videographer, I love nothing more than capturing those moments and doing video edits and things. I love it. But running a business is just not all that it's cracked up to be. It's just there. That's the part of it that that I just don't like. I need someone to manage me and do all the business side of things while I just shoot video and do the fun stuff. I would love that very much, but unfortunately, that's not the way it can happen. Anyway, <clears throat> I just come up, become a freelance videographer, and just offer my services everywhere. And have my wife manage me. 
I do need managed. I'm not. Sh- she knows it. <laughs> Wife, mm-hmm. you know it. I know it. I know I'm not good at business. I'm just, I'm not. And that's why I'm, my wife keeps me organized, focused, scheduled, and on track. She has to do, She has to manage me. Not, it's not bad enough. She's got to manage all of her other stuff and stores and things. She's got to manage me as well. Anyway, guys, a little bit discouraged, I'm not going to lie, but whatever. I'll sort it out, and we'll see what happens. I will see you guys in the next clip because I'm hungry. See you in a few. She does make a scary Annabelle, and 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 I've I've turned her I've I've turned her into a monster. Not literally. Well, she was literally, but she um, she used to hate this stuff. <laughs> she used to hate horror stuff, uh, uh, going to haunts. She hated all that stuff. She loves it now. She loves going to the haunt. She loves hanging out at the haunt. She loves going through the haunt. She loves going to the horror con. She walked around this horror con just having a blast. So she is so much like her dad. <laughs> it's not even funny. <laughs> Let's say that again. Sometimes mom thinks it's a bad thing. I don't know if you heard that, but that's what she said. That's funny. Yeah, I do too because uh, I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit of a wild child and I'm a little out there. And Emily acts a lot like her daddy. Lexi forgot to check out the dog, and she's in El Paso. Can you send Shane over there? Oh, tell Lexi thanks. <laughs> Kids. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you in the next one. This is how my weekend is going. It can only get better. I hope. See you in the next clip. We got some food. We went and got some food, brought it back to the hotel, chilled for a while. Thought we was going to chill for the rest of the night. My sister, uh, Christy, got a hold of me and said she was wanting to come down <clears throat> uh, with my nephew, Trent, and my brother in law, Brian. Um, I love those guys. I love them so much. Um, <laughs> me and my brother-in-law um, have, have a lot in common in the way of he's a he, well, he's the reason I'm a Kiss fan. So um, uh, I had to show him my Kiss uh, action figures and things like that. But anyway, um, so we got to go through the horror or th- through the haunt, both haunts, um, and and uh, the guys out there treated us like royalty, and they got us, you know, through on a flash pass. On, on both of them and um, and we had fun we, we there's a roulette wheel where you spin the wheel and you can win prizes and I, they, they did that and they won like so much stuff oh I spun the roulette, the, the wheel before they got there trying to win uh, uh, tickets to each haunt when they got there to um, and and you know and win some t-shirts and stuff just to give them some stuff when they got there which I did I won a ton of stuff when they got there but then the one of the owners got us in for free anyway I appreciate that because my family had a blast and you're awesome um, uh, and then um, so we went through both haunts we went through the bone saw mill we went through the freak show my wife even went through if you can believe that she even went through um so we all did it we all did it uh, as a group of six and we had a good time and, and they spun the roulette wheel and my ne- my nephew shot some zombies with paintball zombies and we had fun um i i, I don't have footage of all of that because i was having too much fun so i didn't get footage of the paintball zombies and stuff i really can't remember what i got footage of so that's why i did the disclaimer in the beginning of the video to tell you that maybe i did or didn't get some footage if not you're just looking at my face if i did you've seen some clips Um, I did have a, a, a weird uh, a weekend in the way of business. Not, nothing bad, nothing terrible bad. Just discouraging, d- distressing, just annoying. Um, had a phone call on the way there of, of a lot of confusion in the way of of you know this shot getting done and, and 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 this perk and that perk and payment and different things got mumbo jumbo between bad communication between the people, the clients that I was working for. I think it's sorted out. I think, um, and then and then just 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 some just some stuff, just some business stuff. Um, not everybody is on the same page all the time, and not everybody. Um, um, not not we don't always communicate quite properly, and and then it gets. Uh, 
it just it gets a little confusing and 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 then just discouraging and then it's just you know then you're miffed and then you're in a, a shitty mood and then you know and then and then and then it's just kind of like you know fuck it all I'm just gonna chill and have some fun and and forget about it all which I did because after all that mumbo jumbo Saturday we went and we hung out with my sister and Brian and and I'm gonna be honest with you my brother-in-law Brian will pull me out of a bad mood any day he's just that kind of guy he's just he's so fun to be around he's he's goofy and he'll be the first to admit it he's just a goofball and and he'll pull me out of a shitty mood any day of the week and i love him i love him for that he's uh he is my brother um it, 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 maybe not blood related but i've known him the majority of my life since i was a little kid he and he, he and my sister has been together for a very long time and uh, so that helped. It helped. I was so happy that that they decided to come down because I was having a shitty day and uh, a shitty weekend, to be honest with you. Things just seemed like it was one thing after another after another in the way of business, and and oh, I was I was fed up. So it was rough. So then that's when they said they were coming. Um, that's when we went and we hung out with them and we had a good time. And then they went home and uh, we went back to the hotel. We, 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 we fell asleep. We woke up the next morning. <laughs> oh, well, okay, let, let, let's, let, me, let me back up a little bit because when we got back to the hotel, we tried to get into our room. Our door wouldn't open. I went down and I told the lady she tried to fix my little key card thing. I went back up and I tried again and, and you know, finally, finally we got into our room. All was well. We got in, we fell asleep. Next morning, uh, it was it was it was just it was one of those weekends so the next morning we went down we got our, our, our breakfast tickets to have breakfast at the hotel because on Sundays um, you get a free breakfast a, a, a complimentary breakfast any other time no on Sundays yes so we went down to get a complimentary breakfast we got our meal tickets went over dropped our tickets in the basket went to get our food everything was empty so I went back to the guy and I said look there's no food over there and he was like, well, we really don't handle it. I'll call the restaurant that does, so which is attached to the hotel. Called the restaurant. We're waiting around. No, nothing's happening, so we left. We went and got bagels at a bagel place. It is breakfast time. We found a bagel joint. And it's good. So good. Oh. We're enjoying breakfast outside. It's not too bad, but we're by a busy road. A little noisy. A little chilly. I'll see you next clip. Because this is the bacon. Delish. And um and, and it was delicious and, and we hung out for a while. Emily got to go swimming, which I did not get footage of, I do remember that. Um, she was just having fun. She she had had wanted to go swimming all weekend, so she went swimming, and um, and then we we loaded up, and uh, we came home. Heading home. The weekend is over. Okay. We're not going to Bankston's this weekend. Our daughters are going. Our daughters are going. Have they gone? Yes. They have gone. They're going. That's fine. That's whatever. Um, it's usually a family event, but you know how things go. Sometimes work gets in the way, unfortunately. Gonna get a drink. We're heading home. We'll see you there. And here we are, and that was my weekend, summed up very quickly. And uh, but it, it was it was okay. Parts of the weekend were great. Parts of the weekend were fantastic. The Horicon, I loved it. I loved it, and I will be going to more of those. Um, 
I, I, I just may become a collector of horror stuff now. I do have all my superhero stuff and my nerd cave is smack jam full. But I'm going to make room. I want horror figures. I want the, the, the horror, you know, comic books, you know, all this. And, the, and then this one's coming up. Look, who, look who's going to be there. Let me focus in. Look who is going to be there. Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper is going to be <clears throat> at the Days of the Dead Horror Convention in Schoenberg, Illinois in November. I'm going to that because I've been an Alice Cooper fan since I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. Love Alice Cooper. Love his music. Love his show. Love his theatrics. I love everything about Alice Cooper. I used to dress up like him on Halloween. Big fan. Big fan. Big fan of Alice Cooper. Dear Lord. I've got uh, I've got his his comic book, The Last Temptation of Alice, I'm taking it with me so he can sign it. I'm going to that, and uh, it's gonna be fun. So my weekend had its downs for sure. I'm not gonna go into detail. It just it was just you know in the way of business and in the way of 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 working with people and and like I said the communication is off. I was it was it was almost to the point where I was like this is is this worth it is it worth the, just the bullshit you know uh go 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 freelance and just work for whoever you know um not that that would make much of a difference because you probably run into the same problem so that didn't even make sense but i was distraught when i said it so anyway and then my weekend had um had some really fun times i had uh, the, the horror con my sister showing up with my nephew and and, and my brother-in-law and the wife hanging out and going through the haunt and um emily just loving it i've turned her into into uh, actually uh, she ran around the haunt in an Ale annabelle costume and people loved it people were like that is creepy i love it uh, and she just loved dr being dressed up like that and running around scaring people i, I my wife says i have created a monster <laughs> no pun intended as far as horror con but she said I created a monster because my daughter used to hate that stuff. She loves it now. She loves that stuff, which is cool. I mean, it's but she's a very creative girl, and that's probably why. So there you have it, guys. That was my weekend in a nutshell, and um, not too bad. Not great. Not great. Not one of my better weekends, but not too bad. Anyway, Lou Brock. Today, you're watching this. This is Monday. Actually, this is Sunday for me, but you're watching it. It is Monday. This evening, I'm going to Lou Brock and uh, uh, Baseball Hall of Famer. I mean, I'm not a big sports guy. Um, my opinion on it is, you know, kind of whoop de doo only because um, I'm not a big sports guy. Never have been, never will be. Um, it, it'll be a cool experience. Um, you know, it, it will be cool meeting a Baseball Hall of Famer. The, the, the coolest thing for me about it is my dad knows this guy. My dad is a fan of this guy. And so that that's really cool if I can get some stuff for my dad. Um, for me, I don't care. I don't care. Um, it's just another job as far as I'm concerned. And uh, it'll be, be cool. It'll be cool. So, And then other things coming up. And then we're just keep pushing for more work, pushing for more work, pushing for more work, and, and keep working. And that's the way it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of my weekend vlog. Thanks for coming to the Steve Tooley channel. Thank you guys, all you new subscribers. Um, I mean, if you're new to the channel, this is pretty much what's going on these days. I'm going on videography adventures and I'm uh, vlogging my life on a daily basis. And uh, I mean, maybe you found that interesting. That's why you're here. Maybe you found some of my past videos interesting and that's why you're here and if you found some of my past videos interesting like like doing like stuff like um solving the rubik's cube or different weird things that i used to do i really don't do much of that anymore so i apologize if you came here for a lot of that stuff i do do unboxings of this which i'll be doing tomorrow or maybe i'll do that video right after this video and put it up Tuesday or something. So I do do unboxings of this stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, stick around. Um, if you like a daily vlog, stick around. And if you just just didn't, you know, you just subscribe, stick around anyway, because I got some interesting things coming up. Anyway, thank you all for coming to the Steve Tooley channel. And I thank you guys again, all of you guys that, that, that are sharing and, and supporting my content. I love you guys. That's so cool because you don't have to share these videos. You don't have to like these videos. 
you don't you don't have to be as kind as you are when it comes to watching my videos and supporting my content none of you guys have to do that and you do i love you guys for that i truly do love you in the way of you know how how humans are supposed to love humans it's not some deep down love like i have for my wife that's just weird but I love you guys as humans should love humans. You know what I mean? Humans always should love their fellow humans. And you guys are showing love to me by being so kind and supporting my content and sharing it and spreading it. And I just want to tell you, I appreciate that. Thank you. You guys have a great week. I'm going to do my best to have a great week. And uh, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys. Dark History Horror Convention. It was awesome. Look it up. So cool. If you missed it this year, or or there's gonna be more this year, I'm sure. Or yeah, because they'll probably travel. Go check it out. Very very fun times. Have a great day, guys. Have a great evening. Have have a great whatever you're 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 about to have. Have a great meal. Have a great sleep. Have a great shower. I don't know what you're about to do. Whatever you're about to do. Make make sure it's great, unless you're gonna murder someone, and then don't don't. Do, first of all, don't do that. That's not nice. And for second of all, I mean, how can you make that great? You know what I mean? So, I hope there's not murderers watching the channel. Anyway, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, man. How's it going, man? There's a, there's you, a little brother. cash for you. Hey, I appreciate hey, it. Wish you luck, man. Thank you. God you bless you. God bless you, too. Appreciate it. So that guy back there is a veteran. His, his sign said he was a veteran, and he's, like, homeless now. That seems messed up to me. It seems like something wrong there for our veterans, or guys that have fought for our country, fought for our freedom, for us, don't even know us, but was out there fighting for this country and for us. Are homeless that's messed up that's not even right that, that 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 should be a problem that's that gets resolved is like i don't know like that that's they should, they should take care of those guys first in my opinion and they don't do it. no it's terrible it's sad I feel bad for that guy like it's you know it's not super cold outside but it's getting cold and this guy's probably spending his evenings just freezing cold nowhere to go you know, and I know, I know everybody's skeptical about homeless people and what they're doing, and that you know maybe they're not really homeless and they're out here just scamming for money. But I don't care about that. I mean, that, that's bogus if they are. But the thing is, is if this guy's truly a veteran and he's fought for, and, and but it's a reality. Like veterans are really struggling. You know, they come back from you know wherever they've been and they're struggling, and they end up in, in a way like this. And it seems like there should be so much help for them. I don't know. Anyway.